4 p.m. Tea time for one of Chester's oldest residents. Boris has lived in the zoo for 46 years. Boris is probably the most popular male in the group. He used to be a bit of a psychopath. As he's got older, he's, what, 49 now, he's mellowed, just like everybody mellows as they get older. Neil's cared for him since he first came to Chester. I suppose Boris and me are friends. Hopefully Boris has got quite a few more years left in him. I don't know how many more years I've got left working, but uh, hopefully he'll still be here when I finish. <laughs> Technique that Alice. Big bruiser. You do grow fond of certain ones. Can't help but be drawn to individuals. Boris, for example, I've known him for 44 years. Before he met Neil, Boris had had a difficult start in life. The way people catch a young chimp is shoot the mother and pull the infant off the dead corpse. He was about six months old when he was born in New York, and the lady who had him thought he had a boil on his eyebrow. Took him to the vet, and it turned out to be a shotgun pellet. So we certainly know how he came to be caught. At the age of three, Boris was sent to Chester by his owner, where he formed a bond with Neil. When I started, Boris was in the little juvenile group. We used to go in and play with him. It is a fantastic thing, playing with young chimps. I do miss it. But from the chimps' point of view, it's far better that they're with their own. The zoo now limits contact between chimps and their keepers. But that hasn't stopped Neil and Boris finding ways to play together. Boris has definitely got a sense of humour. Wicked sense of humour, I think. Trouble is, he's got more energy than I have, so he can last longer than I can. 